evening everybody welcome back to the angry cast this is a pro tip for you a while ago I did a video for how to play sim tower the old 95 uh, Maxis game uh, on your Windows 10 or Windows 8 and Windows 9 uh, machine uh, as we all know back in the day you could just open up Windows 3.1 run sim tower and everything was wonderful but uh, technology has advanced since then and we can't just run old Windows games, Windows 95, Windows 3.1 games on a Windows 10 or Windows 7 machine. We need a, a way to get to that and that's uh, called DOSBox. The original video I had, poor sound and all, showed you that there was a, a lot of mount, you know, you had to do a mount C colon, all this stuff, this, this um, command line directory stuff to make this work. But it's so much more simpler and we're going to get through that real quick. So first of all, go to DOSBox.com click on the Windows version or the version that you need and download it. That will just open it up into this SourceForge or wherever download uh, place they have. It'll start on its own. You can see it's downloaded, but there's a secondary point and that is getting the uh, Windows version of that. And I will show you where the Windows 3.1 uh, login and I'll put a description link or a link in the description for you as well. We need to go to this uh, file and don't worry, like I said, don't worry about this URL here. I, it's provided to us all, you know, everywhere. Just go to it and you see 3.1 zip and just click download itself. Um, I am running uh, malware bytes. I am running antivirus software. It's probably a good idea to do that yourself. Always, you know, inspect things before you open them. Don't just blindly click on things. Uh, I have adblock software to keep me from getting those weird pop-ups that say download here. And then next thing you know, you've got who knows what on your PC. Okay. Here is a basic folder I just put onto my desktop called Gaming. And it's got the two things that we downloaded. The DOSBox installer and the Windows 3.1 zip file. Here's all you gotta do. Click, do double click DOSBox installer. Let it install, do its thing. Core files, desktop shortcut, sure. Sure, that's where we wanna go. Follow that, close. That's great, now I gotta go grab the, the the desktop shortcut and put it in this folder so I can show you the next easy part. All right, now that we have our shortcut for the uh, the DOS box in itself, now we just gotta uh, expand this or open this and get all of our stuff. And let's just drag everything we got right over to here for now. You can set this up wherever you want to. This is just for demonstration purposes. You can put it in a whole other folder directory structure, however you wanna do it, it's fine. Not a problem. So. Now, all we've got to do is this. You see this Windows dot, it's a Windows dot bat file, it's a batch file. And then all you got to do is take and drag this batch file right over to DOSBox, open with DOSBox emulator. And now we are running Windows 3.1 within DOSBox. There you go. It's that simple. We can play desktop adventures. That's great. But what we want to do is play Sim Tower 3, uh, Sim Tower on Windows 3.1, and that is a next step that we're going to do right now. Okay, myabandonware.com. Uh, just scroll down a little bit, and you'll see the download button. Now I have, again, I have uh, ad block on so that we don't see. I, if you take ad block off, holy cow, the amount of ads that pop up on the screen. Um, that's not to say that you shouldn't support a, a site for you know, having ads on their page. This just helps you parse through all of the fake ones that will try to install stuff on your PC so you can find the actual download button. And you can see right here, if you just hover over, it says myabandonware.com game sim tower. That's how you know you're going to the right one. So let's click on it and that will let us download the floppy version for three, <laughs> for three megabytes for uh, Windows 3.x version. And there we go. Now that's downloading as well. Excellent. Now here's where you're kind of kind of want to pay attention a little bit. So within our folder, wherever we choose to put our Windows 3.1 uh, folder, there's a games folder. Inside that folder, that's where you want to put your games. So I'm putting, and this keeps them all neat and tidy. So Sim Tower is now going to be a folder within that uh, that gaming folder within uh, Windows 3.1. And then now that we've downloaded the um, Windows, Rep or I'm sorry, Sim Tower game, see here all of the uh, files that go along with that. We're going to go and take and drag that all the way over to 
the sim tower folder within our Windows 3.1 stuff. So there you go. Now we have that, we can now use it. Let's go back over to, sim, uh, to DOSBox and th Windows 3.1. Okay, here we are. Let's get rid of the background noise. We don't need to have that. We want to click on Main, and that gives us the File Manager. And then we go to File Manager, it gives us all of our folder structure that we just created. And you can see here's the Sim Tower folder. And then there you go. And then what we want to do, <laughs> just to set it up and let it do its thing. It's going to run. I got a little ahead of myself, don't worry. Okay, now it's going to tell us to create a, a path for all this stuff. See Sim Tower. Okay, that's fine. Put it wherever you want, doesn't really matter. Does not matter. Okay, it's done. Set up is complete. Now, there we go. The window for Maxis, we can play it. Okay, there we go. Maxis presents. Knock, knock. There we are. It's that simple, folks. Please, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. I apologize for taking so long to get back to people, but sometimes time gets away from me. If you want to see any more tips, uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to uh, say, hey, bang up job there, Mongo, throw me, a, throw me a like, throw me a comment, go into the description, go to my stores, buy some merch, buy me a coffee, become a fan on Patreon, all that kind of good stuff. Show me the support, and we'll keep doing it. That's all we got for tonight. We'll talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.